Hey guys, this is going to be a long build uh, video. What you're looking at right now is a, uh, is a Revel Snap Tight uh, Droid Tri Fighter. This is uh, something I picked up at um, Gen Con, actually. Uh, got it on the cheap, got it like half off, <laughs> like half off. It was awesome. And um, it's been sitting there staring at me saying, build me, so. Uh, I'm finally succumbing, so this is going to be a long play video, um, so if you don't like long videos, this is not going to be for you. What I'm going to be doing is uh, building this and uh, showing it to you at the end. Um, by the way, the scale is pretty, pretty dead on, um, so if you do like the uh, Star Wars minis for uh, doing tabletop warfare like I do, uh, this is a great piece that you can bring into your games, especially if you want to do proxies for 40k. You know, you can call this whatever you want to in whatever flyer uh, army position you've got. So, here we go, guys. Alright. I'll try and get a little bit closer to show you what's going on here. Alright. Um, because I'm an old man, I need old man glasses. Okay. Uh... We're going to take part one and part two and part three. And this is part two. And this is part one. So they're, uh, they're pre-painted, which some people hate, I love. That's one step I don't have to do. Any step that I don't have to do, I am a big fan of. So. And look at the detailing too, guys. I mean, the detailing is just crisp. Just crisp. Okay. So one's on the bottom. And you want to get your nippers out here too, guys. So you're going to have a lot of things you're going to have to disconnect. Um, let's see, last one. Some people are just huge fans of building stuff. Um, Alright, number one is going to be on top. So number two is going to be on the bottom. Like I said, I've got so many miniatures. I mean, it's... I'm sure I would be classified with some scientific name if some doctor saw how many minis I've got. But, um, here we go. This was one, this was two, and then I got the little jet dealies over in here. I might have to get out my X-Wing and my ARC-170 and uh, have these guys fight each other. This is nice. All three of these have the same number, so don't have to worry about it. I like it when they do that with models. Sometimes they'll have identical pieces and they'll mark them different numbers, and then I get all freaky because uh, I wasn't sure if I, uh, if I did the right one. And the other thing I love about this, no glue. No flipping glue at all, not a freaking drop. Uh, which is another thing that I absolutely love. Now, the cool thing about these are also, is if you want to do conversion work, you know, you could easily do like, uh, find a lower wing system, pop this on here and make this a new version fighter. You know what I'm saying? And you've got three of these. So if you can find like three other bottoms to put on this, instead of making one fighter, you can make three. You know, your own version of it. So, always, you know, always think outside the box, guys. Okay, I am looking for part eight. Which is an interesting 
looking part. Problem is, is that this is showing a very long... I suppose it still is. Okay. It looks kind of short in the picture. It's actually kind of long on the actual body. Okay, and this is number eight. Okay. There we go. Hope you guys are having a great new year. Hope you got everything you wanted from Santa. Okay, so this goes up. Four pins. God, I love the snap together stuff. Oh my god, this is so... Wouldn't that be great if GW did snap together stuff like this? Where you just snap together your rhino? I mean, that would just be awesome. Okay, on to 17, which is a missile. Some people love and some people hate that they... It used to be all just lasers. And then with the, the last three movies that they put out, they started introducing missiles and stuff. And some people hate them, some people love them. Where do you guys stand? What do you guys like? Alright, and that's a part nine. There's nine. I like it just because it gives you more options. Let's say you uh, you make uh, scale model fighters and you don't use all those missiles. You know, you could start using them for Star Wars. You know, it's pretty pretty freaking cool. Okay, be careful with this. It's a really tight Tight fit. Okay, so that that took. All right. Now I, it's got two posts, and it's got the missiles. So down they go. That's beautiful. It's got a little bit of an angle, probably because of. This is probably the undercarriage. Okay, so that one's done. The next one is a seven and a six. What are you? You're a nine, so I'm not gonna use you. And you are a five, so I'm not gonna use you. So this is seven and six, it's gotta be right here. Wait a minute. Unless I'm reading this wrong. Alright, it's a 7, 6, and 3. 7. There's my 7. Maybe I misread this. That's a 5, so you've got to be a 6. Yep, you're a 6. Okay. Alright, moving along. So how do you guys like Tyranids? I've seen people do reviews saying that they've really made them weaker. Um, but I don't know, I don't play. So, what's your input on that? Seems like your synapse creatures are a ton more important. Just a ton more important. Alright, and you were six. So now I need seven. As a little kid I was so stupid. I was so excited to make the model I would disconnect everything. And then I'd have no idea what number went where. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. So funny. There we 
go. And then get me another rocket. Okay. Same thing. Oh, you know what? There's actually a little tab there. I wonder if there's a tab on the inside of one. Yeah, there's actually a tab on the inside of one of those. I probably screwed up on you. Oh, well. May the model gods forgive me. Okay. Love it. Okay, same thing. We're going with uh, number 10. I love symmetrical models. They make life so much easier. We're going to have two fins done in no time. Two of the three fins. I'm already trying to figure out how to uh, proxy the um, the little disassembly droids that come out. They've got like two half uh, half circles and like the body just deploys from inside it. And it's got like a cutting torch and stuff. It's pretty cool. I gotta find a small cir empty circle that's plastic that I can cut in half and then I gotta figure out how to proxy the uh, proxy the little innards. An easy way to do that easy way to do that is to actually use these. I made a, a, a Droidica's uh, functional parts out of um, out of um, these uh, sprues. They actually do a really good job. Okay, um, we are on to step three. Now we're doing the top one. It's going to be five, four, and three. So it's the last three, that, which means I'm safe of safe from screwing it up. Still should know what I'm dealing with. This one's five. I'm willing to guess this is probably going to be done in like less than a half an hour. You really gotta love models like this. I mean, can you honestly have a rhino built and painted in a half an hour? You know? <laughs> How much would you pay <laughs> to have to have that, you know, that option available to you or a rhino or, you know, whatever? That would really really make the hobby a bit more easy. The painters are probably screaming at me right now and I apologize. I, I don't want to poo-poo any part of the art. Just when you spend all day building stuff, it would be so nice if I never had to paint it. It would be so nice. Okay. Okay. Love that satisfying snap. Just love that.
all done, all good. Very happy. Love it. Okay, so on to B. This is the ball. The ball is really cool um, because the concept in the movie is that the ball rotated to stay on the same plane uh, whilst the fighter can spin and roll and do whatever it wants to. So it gives it incredible, um, an incredibly stable platform while it's doing all this aerial acrobatics stuff. Okay, that's probably going to just hook into that. Getting a little ahead of myself. That was 26 and 27. No, 25, 26. Pardon me. 25, 26. So those two, yeah, go together. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get all excited like I do. Do it the right way. And then you don't scream at yourself later. And it's transparent. Probably can't tell. I'll put it right in front of it, but it's transparent. And I like how it kind of gives a nod to the TIE Fighter with the uh, with that obvious TIE Fighter look. Very, very cool. Okay, so we've done 25-26. Um, Oh, I've got to sand something, don't I? I've got to sand that. Uh, okay, well, that's going to make it a little bit more difficult now, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's figure it out. Maybe I can just clip it. 24, 23 is the next two. So this actually goes on inside of this. Oh my god, these guys are going into way more detail than they need to. Okay, well, hey. Works for me. They could have made this all one piece and I'd have been, okay. But they're actually doing like the sub internal structure. couple of posts sticking out. Make sure you don't nip those posts off. I've done that. <laughs> Much to my unhappiness. Now... This is where it gets a little weird. Oh, okay. I see. Aha. Four posts, four holes. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. A lot of geometry to this piece. Probably a lot more than this. Now, is this the one that I've got to sand? Yep, it's looking to be that way. This is almost one of those things where. almost better to leave it out. <laughs> because I've got to line up a ball. I've got to line up five things. The inside thing I can't even see if it's lining up. Very... disheartening. Oh, hey, look at that. Okay, cool. All right. So we got it. You can even see inside and see it. Very cool. Okay, so we've got this. 
Now it's got like the rotating pieces, 21, 22, 21, 22. This, this has pins as well, so make sure you don't nip the pins off. I want to go in with your with your nippers a little bit tight in case it gets hung up on an edge. You don't want to cut the wrong piece. 21, 22. Is there a right and wrong way? Now this is showing, okay, it's showing the pin on the top. Okay, I got it. 22's on, 21 is on the bottom, good. It's like a gyroscope, it's really kind of cool. It's a cool concept. See how, you, see how it can spin? Kind of nifty. Okay, now we're gonna go get 22. Yeah, if you were to like break this thing up, you could make that into like a, uh, one of those uh, Octa walkers or squid walkers, whatever they call them. They were one of the video games. The four-legged walkers, not the not the ones that were in uh, the battle for Geonosis, different one. Okay, and there's no front or back, thus no way for me to screw it up. I like that. And you want to get the top hole through, and then get the bottom one. Look at that. So now, it rotates. Isn't that cool? Kind of slick. I'm going to leave it to the outside like that. I think it's got the best look. Okay, so now, the back kind of looks like a rocket. And that is 11, 12, and 13. Now it's like the front. Here's 11. So there's 11. Year 12. Shapes are pretty different, so I feel pretty confident cutting them apart all at the same time. 13. I'll bet you you're 13. Yep, you're 13. Okay. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Now we're just building basically the armature to put the whole thing together. So this goes together with this. It's got a slot on the bottom. It's actually got slots all the way through. So there's that. And then the bottom, round parts hanging out. Nice tight fit. Kind of cool, huh? I like that. Okay, I'm assuming these slots are where the tri pieces are going to interlock into. So this is off the back. Now the front is a 14, 15, and 16. And they're all very different looking so there's no real danger of me screwing it up and I think it's the last three pieces anyways so there's one two And yep, that's the last piece. Uh, 
Okay, so you want to have the part facing in. That fit like a song. And I love it when they have half circle setups. So then there's no way to screw it up. Which, if there is a way to screw it up, I will find it. Look at that. Nice satisfying snap. Okay, now it gets a little bit difficult. Okay, so it's looking like missile bottom, missile bottom. And there's no right or wrong to this, which I love. There's a little tab set up too, which makes it a lot better. Okay, there's that. fact that you can push off the, the back side. Kind of cool, huh? Look at that. Looks a lot like the um, Cylon Raider. A lot like Cylon Raider. Now, I want to put this bad boy in like so. And it's going to be a little bit... This is going to be the tricky part. Because I've got to keep this in the hole whilst I'm fitting these two tab A slot B setups. Actually it lines up really, really, look at that. Oh, that is sexy. Come to me. Come to me. See, it rotates and rotates. See that? Ro rotate. Oh, there went that rocket. Rotates like this and rotates like that. That is freaking awesome. Whoever thought of that, my God, hats off to you. All right, let's get this rocket back on before it gets even more difficult to hold on to. Don't break the little tabbies. Kind of important. Am I not lining up right? Am I just suffering from fat fingers? I think I'm suffering from fat fingers. This is why you want to keep around things like butter knives. If you suffer from fat fingers like I do, fat fingers give you the ability, or butter knives give you the ability to get in where your fat little fingers won't. is really really slick. Okay, alright, so now the last thing we gotta do put that top fin on and this bad boy is in business. We're gonna have some hurting clone troopers after this. Alright, main thing, don't push on the rockets. That would be bad. Okay, I'm gonna just line these up first off. Okay, there we are there. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. Oh. 
And there we go, boys and girls, moms and dads. One awesome tri fighter. Took about a half an hour, not bad at all. It's pre painted, it's done, it's ready to go, and very, very beautiful. I love this. I'm spinning it around and like that. That is awesome. That is just freaking sick. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, there you go, guys. Let's get a figure next to that bad boy. Let's use the, uh, the infamous Space Marines. Because everybody knows how big a Space Marine is. Look at that bad boy. That is awesome. I'm going to have so much fun with that. Alright, now if you want to see what this looks like next to other fighters. Let's see what other fighters look like next to this. Here is an X-Wing. And Tri-Fighter. So the Tri-Fighter is like their heavy fighter. Um... It's looking like this is designed to be like their beastie, big, heavy fighter. Um, the uh, the X-Wing, which is this bad boy right next to it, um, this is about a mid-range fighter, uh, mid mid-sized. It's not a light fighter. It's certainly not a bomber. Might even be considered a heavy fighter. So it'd be like heavy fighter versus heavy fighter. And then um, the ARC-170... It's got a massive wingspan. I mean, the wingspan on the ARC-170 is huge. Absolutely freaking huge. It's double-sized. I mean, I'm having trouble getting it in the shot. So you can see where, like, this wouldn't be a bomber, but it could definitely be a heavy fighter. And that's a heavy fighter. So... Very, very cool. Uh, love it. Went, to bed, went together very easily. Like I said, pre-painted, beautiful. F has a high functionality to it. You know? So, uh, I would definitely, if you're a Star Wars uh, person, or if you uh, want to use it to proxy something uh, for your 40K, uh, go for it. So, uh, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was the Droid Tri-Fighter, man. Love it. Bye-bye.